Hi everybody, welcome to my channel. This is a random little video that I thought I would take five minutes to show you um, what I had done because literally this is an impromptu sit down. I was busy doing other stuff like Christmas baking, but um, something somebody caught my attention on YouTube. Her name's G Kerr. I know many of you know who she is, um, but she just, she inspired me. So I quickly put the batter down and I came into my craft room and I grabbed three printable sheets. Could be whatever sheets you have. Um, they could be book pages, I'm sure, but it would have to be a pretty big book. Um, then you'd have to strengthen the sheets. But anyhow, I'm gonna show you what I did. And here's, the, here's a question. If you guys want me to show you how to do this, if you haven't already made one yourself, um, they're adorable. They're, they're, su they're super adorable then just shoot me some, uh, let me know down in the description box. And if you want me to do a tutorial, I will sit down and do one tomorrow for you so that you guys can have some fun over the Christmas holidays. Um, you're, if you have younger daughters at home, I bet you they would love to make these too. Um, yeah, so anyway, let's have a look. So this is ribbon here. You could use um, seam binding, whatever you have. This is just a whatever you have. I kind of dug out from the bins in front of me um, and I just nothing is in particularly matching because this is just a prototype but um, anyway here we go this is the front of the uh, I guess you'd call it I'm not even sure what you call this but I made a little book plate here with some cheesecloth journey I used uh, an Artie Mays printable for the outside and the part of the inside but so it has three sides I did score down both sides <clears throat> it gives you more of a thus you can see here you can see how I scored it but I can show you that too if you're interested I made two side pockets this is just a like a homemade booklet full of paper for uh, whatever grocery lists or whatever you want to do and I punched two holes and I tied ribbon through it I, um, and I can show you how to make this as well. This is super quick and simple. So you attach it to the inside cover and the flaps here. I stuck um, some more writing spots and I would do this better. Um, this was like I said a prototype so I need to measure this a bit better than I did. But it, it works still. I made it work. So I slipped this in this side and then I slipped another extra little writing spot in this pocket I added um, just an embellishment and some word fetty on this side on each side but uh, I think I just think they're absolutely adorable you could make these quickly um, for those of you that want to I don't know make them for little gifts sometime for somebody or just put to have for your purse and on the back is another pocket. Oh, I know what I forgot to do. I forgot to put trim to so it could show you the difference between the pocket and the back, but I will do that on the next one. And then, oh, I'm about to do this, sorry guys. This is all so new to me here. And then there's a, an extra little tuck for some, I used coffee dyed paper for this, extra writing. But see, here's the pocket. <clears throat> I will put some sort of a lace trim or something at the very top here just to just to finish off the look and it slips in there like that so yeah I think they're kind of cute I used an eyelet and I I uh, tied some ribbon through it and then you just slip it through like that or you could do whatever you want for your tie but I just think, hey, this is really cute. So let me know what you think. And I will make sure that I show you guys how to do this. It's really super quick and simple and fun. And you can just, you could just really um, make a bunch of these sitting down watching a movie or, or whatever. But anyways, thanks for watching everybody. And I hope you are getting ready for Christmas and that you will somehow try to have a blessed Christmas anyways, even though it's a COVID Christmas. So take care, everybody. Let me know what you think. Thanks for watching. Bye-bye.